Hey my loves, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Anaya and if you are new here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And as y'all can see by today's title, y'all basically gonna be spending a week with me. This is another behind the scenes of a full-time crochet artist. So just a little recap for the new craft besties. I am a full-time crochet artist. So yeah, so y'all basically just gonna be spending a week with me this week. I really don't have any expectations. I really just want the week to flow through. I'm not about to set any expectations because y'all know me and trying to go by schedules. It don't work out. Like, it, it, it don't work out. My mind just be having a... My hands and my mind, two different paces. I be having ideas, crochet ideas, but my hands don't be getting it done. So, I can't set any expectations. So, current whips. Let's go ahead and get into it. I'm currently crocheting another blanket is the blanket real cute it's giving real summery vibes and i'm also trying to use up my yarn stash so for this blanket i want to use what i have at home this is the yarn it's the mandala ombre and the name is tranquil 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 yeah i know what i'm trying to say but that's this is the yarn and I only have two skeins, so I just almost, like, I'm literally almost done with the first skein. Like, this is literally how much yarn I have left. So, this is one day worth of work. So, this is about, like, I don't even know how many rows. I'm trying not to count the rows. I made a blanket before, and I did about 45 rows. I'll show y'all that, but... I'm thinking for this blanket, I want to use this cream color because I feel like it'll be real cute. So once I finish up like both skeins of this color yarn, I'm going to do the border, like 10 extra border rolls because I want this blanket to be a little bit bigger than the one I made previously. So yeah, I'm excited. The colors is cute. I've been wanting to make another blanket since I finished my last blanket. And I seen that some of my craft besties were saying, y'all wanted me to make another blanket. And it was already in the works. So that's how I know, like, it was just meant for me to make another blanket. Because it just was meant. It was just meant. And I also, I want to make a, um, let's do a little crochet with me right quick. Uh, but I want to, um make like a crochet duster like just something y'all fall is coming it's finna get cold outside real real soon y'all we gotta all the crochet girlies we gotta unite and start crocheting a bunch of cute stuff because fall is on the way and it's gonna come faster than we think also i feel like um what i was gonna say also y'all this year i already didn't gave my family like a heads up but i'm only crocheting um i'm only crocheting christmas gifts everybody is getting a crochet christmas gift like i'm not playing this year like every year i try to i be racking my brain like i don't have hands like i don't have yarn like i don't have you know crochet wish wish list that they be wanting y'all are getting crochet gifts this year like do y'all feel like getting do y'all feel like, okay, I feel like a handmade gift is equivalent to, like, a store bought gift. Like, I know a lot of people feel like handmade gifts is, like, cheap or you didn't put much effort into it. That's the thing. With a handmade gift, you got to give them something that they didn't expect. Like, they probably been asking you for it, but don't make it right when they ask. Pop, make the gift and pop it out for a birthday or, like, a, a special event. I don't feel like gifts are a cheap alternative or like even like a you don't put effort into it. I feel like it's a labor of love because they didn't have to sit there and make that for you. So if y'all, if you aren't a crochet artist or, you know, somebody that DIYs stuff, always appreciate those gifts because I feel like it takes more love and effort to make something than to just go to the store and spend money on something. So, y'all, don't be don't be being one of them. Appreciate those gifts, girl. Now, if it look a little cheap, nah. 
If it look cheap, if it look low budget and like they ain't put no effort into it, now that I can't, I can't attest for. But yeah, I'm excited for this week. Get y'all projects, get y'all yarn, get y'all snacks. Cause we about to wear our hands out this week. I'm about to finish, I am think I'm gonna um, keep crocheting until I finish up this yarn. And then I'm gonna take my butt to bed and I can't wait to finish my blanket. I'm gonna fool around and finish this blanket in two, three days. I wanna also start another mood blanket, but I think I'm gonna um, start that blanket more so when it get cold outside. So that, like, y'all know when winter come, we be in, like, we be in uh, our rut phase. Not even rut phase, but, like, our uh, just, like, uh, that wishy-washy phase because the weather just be a little gloomy out. So I think that's when I'm going to do my mood blanket. That's probably a bad idea if I just say it's going to be gloomy out and stuff. But I feel like I'm yapping too much. So I'm going to call y'all later. I'm going to call y'all in the morning. Y'all better answer. Hey girl, so it's Tuesday. Girl, no, it's not. It's Monday. Um, I'm about to go ahead and go to Joanne's. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Do not say nothing. We're going to Joanne's, but we're going to give ourselves a budget. I'm not going to tell y'all what the budget is because we're going to try to stay under the budget. But I need to get a few things. And plus, I just want to look around. I haven't been to Joanne's in a long time. So, like, actually stand there and look and feel and see the different yarns in the new collections. I haven't been there in a long time. So, and one of the craft besties said she wanted to go to Joanne's. So, when y'all ask to go to Joanne's, we're going to Joanne's. Because I, nine times out of ten, want to go too. So, we're about to go to Joanne's and um, get a few things, look around. See what we can find. See what we can add to the collection. Some yarn for the duster cardigan I want to make. I have all of these colors, but I kind of want it to be a solid color. And I know I don't have, like, one solid color that will make a whole floor-length cardigan. So, we're going to get that. And then we're going to get whatever our heart desires. And y'all can get something, too. So, we get that. I'm going to call y'all when we get that. So, you better answer. Mm-hmm. Hey girls. Alright, so we at Joanne's. If they got a lot of boxes everywhere, I don't know what's up with that. But let's figure out some colors. I don't have a budget because I just want to spoil myself today. My edges look a little rough. But I'm trying to get in the habit of starting to film in public more. So I want my microphone so y'all can hear me because they be having this weird music going on. I don't have a green like this. Like, I don't have a green. They barely got yarn. They barely got yarn. Where all the yarn at? Let's get that green. This color is cute. Should we get it? Do we really need it, though? Probably not. Let's look at some cute yarn. Because y'all know I'm trying to low-key... Let me see look. I'm trying to low-key get out of that, um... Get out of the big twist. Because... I feel like it's a little too thin to, for my liking. There, I'm turning my head. Oh, they got yarn on still. They got yarn on still. Oh, this is cute. This is cute. This is cute too, though. I wonder how much it is. Remember why we why we came? How do you see? I'm just playing. Come on, let's let's remember what we came here for. Cause I'm getting ready to show. Yeah, I want this so bad. I'm definitely putting this on my crochet, my wishes for Christmas because I really, really want these. Like they just so cute. I think I might get one. They got new colors. They did not have this. Cut your edge out to some ice book, you'll be heavy in my mind. Can you get the heck out? I need rest now. Got me warm though. You so you so you baby, baby, baby. I remember empty my shit. I should have given from the resume. I will wait that I wasted the best of me. Yeah.
Alright girls, I'm calling y'all back. I just got back home. I ate me some red beans and rice. Ain't nobody asked, but now I'm so I'm tired. So I got a few things. I hope the clips I got was good. Because I was doing a lot of talking in there, and that's real out of my comfort zone. So let's do a little haul. I got this red heart um bitty stripes i think this is a new collection well i never seen it at my joanne so i'm considering it new i think i am gonna add my ombre yarns at the bottom because i have some um yarn from hobby lobby that i need i'm just glad i'm just glad so i got this um granny square red heart i really just like the color combinations but i'm slick side like it's like a little part of me that just want to return this and get something else because i'm starting to think about like girl like fall is coming da, 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 da. not even like fall is coming but i don't know what i would make with this so i don't know if i don't if i don't have an idea of something i could possibly make with it i'm gonna take it back i just got some red yarn because y'all know i needed some red yarn to add to my stash i really had no business getting this but it's so cute like i feel like this would be a cute little ball piece and then what i went in there for i went in there because i needed something for my um my cardigan i'm gonna make my like long long duster touch the floor cardigan for reference i'm like five i think i'm like five three five not five two i don't think i'm five two i don't know five something but Hopefully, this is enough yarn. This is the pound yarn. I was going to buy this one, the Pound of Love. It was on sale for $8, and it's regularly $11.99. But I seen that the, the Pound Big Twist was on sale for $6.99. You get all this yarn for $6. All this yarn for $6. And I really wanted to do that color I showed y'all, but I was like, let's get with this sale. Like... I'm always making me stuff with this color yarn though, so that's why I low-key didn't want it. But at the same time, maybe me and that color just distant. Like maybe, maybe the color is just meant for me. Like the color just loved me so much that it just really was screaming to come home with me. Like, so the cardigan gonna be this color. I started to get some more yarn for my blanket, but I was just like, let me just go ahead and do what I said already. I said I was going to use the, the skeins I already had and then just add some cream to the border or whatever. So I've been working on it. I think I did like five or four rows today, but I had finished that little skein yesterday. This is what we have so far. Real cute, real tea. I love this color combo. So that's it. That's all. Let's do a little warning. Not even a warning, but let's be realistic for a second. I don't know if I'm going to finish the projects in this video. And I'm also not about to force myself to finish the projects in the video. So consider it y'all just seeing my whips. Because I'm not about to pressure myself to finish full floor length cardigan and a blanket. I don't know why or what possessed me to want to do two big projects this week. But... I just needed like a good long juicy project so on this week's agenda i don't really have no orders which i'm not mad at um i feel like that's a lot that's something that a lot of business owners don't talk about like sometimes girl you're not gonna have no orders and i low-key be thanking god sometimes when i don't have none because it give me it give me time to rest and get like a break in like girl crocheting orders already be a lot so to be booked up crocheting mm -mm. Mm -mm. Um, we don't got no orders this week so consider it a creative week so i'm gonna call y'all tomorrow because it's time for bed it's eight o'clock it's time for bed it's time to go to bed so good night love you girl we looking real jump scarish excuse it but i'm in bed crocheting i ain't record yesterday i don't know what i was doing yesterday i wasn't I don't remember not gonna lie so i started working on my hexagon cardigan and 
Y'all, I'm almost I got a few more rolls for this sleeve. I think what I'm gonna do is work the whole sleeve up, finish working the whole sleeve up, like both of them, and then piece them together. Because after I be piecing them together, then I work on the sleeves, and it just be it just be a stretch for me. Like it be a stretch. So let's chit chat for a second. Let's chat. So y'all, I ended up going back to Joanne's and returning. Oh wait, 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 wait! Before I start yapping. And I'm also still working on my blanket. So, I don't know how many rows this is, but it's getting bigger and bigger. Like, I'm so proud. And this is only like, I started this blanket Sunday. This is how much yarn I have left. I kind of like working on two big projects. Like, not only that, I also feel like I need to start having more whips. Works in progress, basically. Because sometimes it just give me something to just look forward to. I don't know, y'all. But I ended up going back to Joanne's and returning, like, two yarns. Because, girl, I looked at that receipt and I was like, $7? I was like, I, I, was, <laughs> I was like, I know good doggone well I did not spend $7 on yarn. Two of them at that. So... I definitely went back and I returned that and I got my money back because we got yarn at home. If the yarn is not under, well, this yarn was $6.99, but you get all of this. Like, this make one hoodie. Well, this make one sweater. Like, this is a lot of yarn. This was only $6.99. This is a steal. But a little thing, a yarn for $7, a little, like, no. No, girl. I got my money back. And I suggest you go get your coin back if you're spending $7 on some yarn. That's not even retail therapy at that point. That's, that's, no. But anyways, it wasn't, you know, no exclusive yarn for real, for real. It was, but. But anyways, I would return that yesterday. And, um, yeah. But my work in progress, I really have been enjoying just, like, picking them up randomly. Like, it's no pressure because I'm not... I don't really have like a, I have this bad habit where like I fixate on whatever I'm crocheting and I have to finish it the same week I start the project. Like I've been like that since I was a beginner. Like I don't really be having multiple projects just laying around, sitting around. But for my blanket, I low key wanted to be like that because even though I, I crocheted a lot of that blanket within a, a three day span, Four day span. I think it's been four days since I started that blanket. I wanted I want the blanket to be big and stuff, so I'm not really gonna put a date on it. But like, yeah, I wanna start having more like little lay around projects for like if I don't have orders and stuff or if I've been crocheting content for like a video. Like I wanna have like those big projects to go back to and you know, just cut my thoughts off and just crochet like this. I like making hexagon cardigans because, like, they just be so effortless. Like, I don't have to count. I like doing granny stitches, so I like that. So, yeah, that's just my little TED talk because, yeah. I started this book, Behind Her Lives. So, I also have this bad habit, y'all. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm a scary cat. I'm, it's no shame in my game. I am a scary cat. Like, for real, for real. So, I always end up reading thrillers. And I be so creeped out. Like, I be creeped out by the littlest stuff. And I am a true crime girly. So, I don't know why I be so creeped out. But I just know. I'm going to be scared after I finish that book. Like, I'm going to be creeped out. I just know it. And I still read thriller. Like, girl. If you don't go pick up a romance book at this point. Like, go pick up something cute and fluffy. What you doing reading Thriller if you're going to be scared? I've been playing around. Like, tomorrow I need to print out a shipping label and go to the post office because I do have a Depop order to take. And so, I'm going to handle that. I'm probably going to print that out and stuff tonight and just go to the post office tomorrow morning, maybe. And, yeah, I've been working on my hexagon. I think I'm not going to make it too long. Like, I don't think I'm going to make it touch the floor. I think I'm just going to make it, like, go past, like, the back of my leg. Like, the back of my thigh. Like, thigh length. Because I'm really not that tall. So, 
it's still gonna look pretty long and i'm gonna steam it and stuff and hopefully hopefully it um it get longer i also want to add like the little tassels to it but i don't know how to do that so i'm gonna have to watch a tiktok and figure it out because i feel like that'll be cute and we need to use up some of this yarn i'm low-key sad because i really did want to use that um that bluish color i had like that color i had the dark color so i think i'm gonna make another one because y'all know winter coming i went to before coming up and we gotta get like we gotta get our sweaters ready y'all like we gotta get y'all gotta get y'all stuff together y'all gotta get y'all projects in line so that when like it get fall we can all have our crochet stuff on and we can look like the ultimate crochet girls so then everybody can ask us like where you got that from where you got that from and then we could tag our businesses and stuff and then we can make a little coin so get your stuff ready girl it's perfect right now to be getting it ready for now because when it get cold outside you're not gonna want to crochet no sweater you're not gonna want to crochet no sweater so go ahead and crochet your sweater while it's hot. So then when it get cold, you just got to go in the closet and put it on. That's girl math. Go get your yarn. Go do it. <laughs> I just be talking. I literally just be talking. Yeah. So I'm, gonna finish, I'm not going to finish this. I'm going to work until I feel like I just don't want to work anymore or crochet anymore. And then I'm going to go about my night. So I love you, girl. Good night. Good night. Y'all know what I be laughing at? Look, how I'm going to say good night that I'm going to keep talking. I love how interactive the videos be given. Like, when I be editing, I be so engaged in it. I be feeling like I'm talking to me. Like, not talking to me, but I be feeling like I'm talking to a whole nother person. So, it's just like... I don't know. I just be feeling like it's so engaging. Like, y'all ever watch a YouTube video and it's like... You feel like you just watching, like, a movie or something... I don't know how to explain it, girl, but, like, I just be feeling like I'm on the phone. Like, I'm on the phone, but y'all not responding to me. Like, so, I'm... This is basically, like, a voicemail. That's what it reminds me of. Like, I'm leaving a voicemail. That's what it gives me. All right, I gotta go, girl, because I'm doing too much talking. Bye. Hey, girl. So, it been days later. I haven't been crocheting, but I did finish my book. So, <laughs> I did finish my book. My priorities are questionable but i'm about to go ahead and pack up this order and chit chat with y'all for a second and i think i might end the video because i don't really have nothing else going on today i'm not gonna lie i'm still working and i just filmed a unpopular opinion y'all gonna see this, that video before y'all see this video um i just like randomly posting two videos a week I like not telling y'all when I'm going to post because it gave y'all like a little surprise. Like, y'all don't know. Y'all don't know when. Y'all don't know when to expect it. Y'all just know I'm coming. That's it. That's all. So, I'm still not making no progress, but I'm also not mad at it because I really just been picking up my projects whenever it crossed my mind. And I think I like doing it. So, I think I'm going to have more projects just sitting around like this because this is low-key fun like every time i get bored i just pick it up and it smells good it smells like some it smells like baccarat i don't even remember wearing baccarat but it smells good this is what we got so far i seen this um cute cropped one y'all let me show y'all and i'm gonna have to make this for winter like my winter collection is gonna be tea that is so cute and look at the buttons look at the detail I'm definitely going to make that. I definitely need to um start doing different colors on my cardigans, but we're going to do that. We're going to get into that. We're going to do that. So I'm about to go edit 